gossip about young Ankit. Think it's true? See no point lending credence to gossip. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him. Well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's dear, it is. It could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Scared me shitless. Every man on the continent so blood. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line. Having a hard time of it. Well, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full. It'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, where the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Chavilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierad Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched my brother, grabbed a torch and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Another victim. Drowner. 
Corners for sure. Lair must be nearby. again. Slime and rotting flesh. <coughs> the pelvis. Scratched up. Long, wide claw marks. Rusty piece of armor, falling apart in my hands. A monster's lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled.
Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Bruises on his neck. Crushed larynx. Strangled. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor, you could call it. The stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here. Unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands cover up my scent. That should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait. Behind those boats. Want to keep an eye on him. 
Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. Send them to the tavern.